Yo everybody, this is Rock with the Great, aka The Toy Booking. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this rooftop diorama that I just made. I've been reviewing my dioramas that I make on this YouTube channel, and they seem to do pretty well. Uh, people like them, and I like showcasing them and documenting them, so it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, we're going to be going over the diorama, and also at the end, I always show work in progresses, so you can see how this was being made. Um, so it's like a review and a tutorial type video. Um, this is, I would say, 1 12th scale, or at least that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, you can get away with a few different scales. Maybe NECA scale might be good on here. They're a little bit, they're like 7 inch scale. Maybe even 5 inch scale. It's up to you. Um, we're good. Okay, let's, we could get in there. Let's zoom in. Alright, so, you know what? Let's get an aerial view right now. Just show you guys from different um, areas. Okay, hold on. There we go. So this is made out of mostly out of uh, XPS foam. That's the big either pink or blue foam from Lowe's or Home Depot. Home Depot has pink. Lowe's has blue. XPS foam. It's the stuff that goes in uh, your walls usually. Um, I found that the blue foam is tighter like the f the blue foam has been uh what i use mostly now i used to use the the pink foam from home depot but uh i don't know it's just very it's it, it that's very uh flimsy I, I don't know i just think the blue one is better uh just from experience i can't really explain it and uh this is different for me usually uh i'm a big person of just gluing everything down and this is the first time i started um not really gluing things down like so this could be this is like a chimney. This could be moved around or taken away. Uh, you know, like put in the corner right here. This is empty. Oh, this one's empty. This is like a door. And, um, hold on, let's zoom out. Here, so this is a door, like to come up on top of the rooftop. And uh, I love this thing. I made this just with the, this is the dollar store foam. And then the blue XPS foam. Just a mix of things and then... I have a doorknob. Everyone always asks what I use for doorknobs. Um, this is just a screw. I just started using a screw as a doorknob. And then um, this is just like a cardboard from, what, what would you say? Um, cereal box for the backing of the doorknob. And then I always use the, you could fill this in with, um, you put, what is it? Baking soda and crazy glue and fill in the, the hole for the doorknob. Or just put a get uh, like a a dab of paint. This I just put a dab of paint. I did it the the lazy way, which it doesn't really bother me. But uh, again, you can move this around, and then this is cool. Um, I wanted something that lights up. Oh, sorry, Batman. I wanted something that lights up. So this is actually hold on, let me. Uh, I would say this is like a sky uh, night. What was it? Sky roof? What is it? Skylight? Skylight? I think so. Uh, I'm from New York, so every New York building has some sort of old-looking skylight like this. Uh, this one I just made super fast with the dollar store foam. I didn't even finish it yet. I have to like do like the gray details, but it's good enough for me for now. And uh, all it is is dollar store light. The, these are from the dollar store during Christmas time. They're battery operated. Look, you could shut it off. And it, it's there's um okay. So this is. Plastic, um, like plastic from a action figure clamshell, and then parchment paper on the inside, and that's it. And it gives that frosted look. Uh, usually, it's oh, I just got a text. Usually, the lights are more even, and it gives it like an even glow. But I didn't put them in properly. I just shoved them in there for now. Um, this is okay. So now I tried again something new. Every time I do a diorama, I try to do something different. So now for the design here, I just went with a pen and I just did it like really fast, really cheap, really crappy. And it came out just as good as when I used with the blades. And like, I don't know, I just feel like you got to learn where things you could skimp on. So like the brickwork, I wouldn't say the brickwork is perfect. But you know what, if you knew how fast I did it. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting mad text today. Here, I'm going to have to mute you guys, sorry. Alright, so, you, if you just knew how fast I did it, uh, I was going to fill this in with the grout, but that's just an extra step. This is good enough for now. 
Eventually, I will be making a whole cityscape, and it's going to go downstairs in my uh, toy room on a shelf. And I'm going to have like a whole street with rooftops, uh, literally where all my dioramas go all at once. And it's going to be like a city street. So that's going to be cool. This will go on top of another diorama I'm going to make that like comes up to here. And then this will like clip into the diorama. So that's just something um, with that. And then inside I started now, um, I do things very fast and sloppy. And then I just fill things in with the, the grout. So like in the corner, see like that's grout filled in. So you don't have to measure like everything equally and neatly. Again, this channel, if you're a return, um, you know, like a subscriber, you would know everything I do is very fast, very easy, and very fun. Like, if it's not fast and fun and easy, I am not interested in doing that. I could take my time, do all these things really crazy, but again, they're just backgrounds for your action figures, usually. And if, as long as they could pass in a photo and, and look decent in real life, that's all I care about. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy with this, so as long as I'm happy and you're happy with something you make, then that's all that matters. Uh, this is another cool technique I thought I'd share. All that is is the corrugated cardboard. Um, you rip up, open the top, and it's like, this looks just like those, those like, tin roofs that you would put on something. And then I, I started painting things different colors than I usually would. A lot of people paint things like the same colors in the toy community, which is great because I do that also. But I just started recently, just for myself, started branching out and doing different types of colors. Like, I have to still dirty this up, but now I'll mix, like, the grout. Like, see, if you look at this wall, it looks like it has more texture because it does. I put the grout and I just smear it around. So, it's really all about, like, experimenting and just having fun with the dioramas. Um... I wanted a rooftop. A lot of people in the toy community do rooftops. I just thought I would uh, make one. And I, this took me about a few hours without dry times. Like, I, I, if you subtract the dry times, this only took about, like, two or three hours at, ma at most. And I'm very happy with how it came out. I Mod Podge cleared, uh, I Mod Podge um, clear coated it. And so it's it's got that nice, I, I should do it a few more times. And this needs to be finished, like, um detailed and mod podged and then I'll, it's just about done but again this will eventually click on the top of another diorama that i have but thanks for watching guys i will include some pictures i took with this diorama at the end of the video and also uh the 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 whole journey of the the video i always include uh, of the diorama i include at the end so watch that all right thanks for watching guys So thanks for watching guys. I am gonna go take some cool uh, toy photography. My toy photography page is at the toy bookie on Instagram. And I also am an artist. I do graphic designs. I've worked with many bands. I've worked with comics. I, uh, I've done a bunch of stuff. You can check out my art at Rock with the Great on Instagram or Google Rock with the Great. My, my sites come up. And you can follow me on Twitter at Rock with the Great. And thanks for watching guys. We're out of here. Leave a comment below, like the video, all that stuff helps, you know that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay great. Peace.